Hi, my name is Marie Lindqvist and this presentation is about Introduction to Statistics. Please complement the presentation with the handouts you find on the home page. Statistics is about data. It is about collecting, organizing, analyzing and presenting data in several ways. One definition of statistics is building new knowledge in an empirical way. And this is what we are doing in research, for example, about unemployment. There are some basic important concepts in statistics. The first concept is the population. The population is the group of individuals we want to be able to say something about. The group we want to learn something about. It could be all citizens in Umeå all citizens in Sweden or all students at Umeå University. A total survey is, is if all individuals in the population are investigated. Often this is not possible for practical reasons and we have to make a sample survey instead. This means that a subsample of the population is chosen and investigated. If the sample individuals are chosen with some random mechanism, we call it a random sample. A very important concept in statistics is the variable. A variable is a property connected with the individuals in the population of the sample. It can be their sex, their age or their salary, among a lot of other things. Statistical inference is when we generalize information from the sample to the population. The sample is chosen from the population in a random way. We, we use the sample for analysis. Then we draw conclusions about the population from the results we have in the sample. The variables are what we are measuring on the individuals in the sample. It can be questionnaires or some more formal measurements, for example, health data. Why is it so important to take a random sample of individuals? If the sample is random, we can generalize the result to the whole population. Otherwise, this is not possible. A random sample is the best way for the sample to be representative for the population. A random sample also makes it possible to give, give objective measures of the precision of the results in the survey. In reality, the random sampling procedure often is the most problematic part of a quantitative study. This can be seen if you read articles where statistical analysis is performed. Now I'm going to introduce you to an example. I'm going to use this example in some of the presentations. The Salut Child Health Promoting Intervention Program is a strategic investment in Västerbotten County, which starts by approaching the pregnant woman and her partner during pregnancy. The goal is to provide children in Västerbotten as good living conditions as possible. SALUT is a collaboration between healthcare centers, preschools, schools, and both county council and municipalities are involved. The SALUT program started with a pilot study where four pilot areas in Västerbotten were included. Possible participants were pregnant women and their partners. They answered a questionnaire with questions uh, about different parts of their lives, for example, living conditions, health, diet, and physical activity. We leave salute for a moment. Something that is very important for statistical analysis is the measurement level of the variables. The reason that this is so important is that depending on the measurement level, we use different statistical methods in the analysis. 
The first measurement level is called the nominal level. The characteristic of this level is that it is only a classification. We can't say anything about the order of the individuals, just that they belong to a class, for example males or females. The next measurement level is called the ordinal level. If a variable is measured on the ordinal level, we can both categorize them and also order the classes. For example, size in clothes. We know that an individual with a size medium is larger than an individual with size small. We can rank the individuals, but men still belong to the same group. The highest measurement level is called the scale level. If a variable is measured on the scale level, we have an individual value for each individual. For example, individual weight or individual salary. It is called the highest level because most statistical analyses are possible for variables on the scale level. Back to the salute example. Which scale level is appropriate in the following situations? If we measure self-rated general health in the categories excellent, very good, good, fair and poor. The answer is the ordinal measurement level. And this is because each individual belongs to a group, but the groups can be ranked. Next variable is age. If it's measured like 29.5, 30.0 and so on. The measurement level is scale. And this is because each individual has their own age. The last variable is country of origin, which could be either Sweden or other countries. The measurement level here is the nominal level. And this is because the individuals belongs to a group and the groups cannot be ranked. This was the presentation about important concepts in statistics. Please complement this presentation with material on the camera page. Thank you and see you.